Hi, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. Back in the same canoe model, I created another configuration where the seats are made with extrudes, don't connect all the way to the bottom, and aren't merged with the body. This means that there are four separate bodies in the part file, which will allow me to show and explain the difference between compatible and incompatible meshes. When there are multiple bodies in a simulation, you'll need to define how those bodies interact with each other. This is done with these connections, and by default, there will be a global contact, such as this one, which describes the overall interaction unless you define otherwise. A bonded contact will essentially treat the bodies as one part or welded. If I go in and edit this contact, down in this options section, there are selections for compatible mesh and incompatible mesh. Let's generate the first mesh as incompatible. If I were running this with different element types, say if these seats were being treated as shells, they would be incompatible by nature because of the different assumptions that each element type takes. I'm just going to use the default meshing definition here since we're actually not going to run this right now. It takes a few seconds to calculate, but you can see that the meshing looks pretty consistent across the entire canoe. There's a pretty apparent pattern on both the seats and the hull. But if we zoom in and take a closer look at where the two bodies connect, we can see why it's considered incompatible. Since these bodies were meshed independently, they don't take into consideration the nodes of the mesh on the other bodies. You can see the nodes on this body don't correspond to the nodes on the other one, which is what a compatible mesh would do. I'll go ahead and switch to compatible and remesh it while zoomed in like this. Here you can clearly see a difference. It almost looks like the body is a continuation of the other. The nodes all line up and correspond with each other. It's generally considered more accurate and quicker to use the compatible meshing because since all nodes line up, the program doesn't have to calculate separate constraint equations. Now if we zoom back out, that clear pattern that we had earlier is a little different now. The program had to change the shape of some of those elements to line up all the nodes correctly. Thanks for watching. Contact us if you have any questions and I'll see you tomorrow.